Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa's Paper Passion. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on something that I kind of figured out myself because I couldn't find it on YouTube. That's the best way, right, to, to, to do that. Um, I got this file from the Silhouette Studio Store. I have a silhouette and I originally bought the silhouette to make stickers for my planner. But I haven't yet mastered that and I've watched countless videos and even the print and cut that I bought doesn't work. Uh, it just cut, cuts off. So I'm really frustrated with that. So I just put that project aside and started just cutting other stuff. And I mean, I'm having fun with the images that I have that's not scan and cut related. So um, I guess I'm just not meant to, to do that. So anyway, um, I've made other projects like I've showed in my video other videos like little houses and all of these are files from the silhouette store and they're pretty cheap there's range anywhere from 50 cents to a couple of dollars depending on if you get them on sale but I love flowers as you know so um, I bought this file I'm looking at the, my silhouette right now um, the, the laptop and it's it's called the 3d Dublin T rose and the image is is really pretty and I cut it out and this is the first one that I made with it I couldn't like I said find instructions the picture of the actual 3d Dublin T rose looks different than this but um, since I couldn't find one uh, a tutorial or instructions on how to how to make it I just kind of figured how to make it my own way so when you cut it out it's 10 pieces and I know it's kind of hard to see that's why I wanted to just cut a fresh one out and show you uh, this is the cut mat and I, and I use the Prima Royal Menagerie paper so when you take it off this is a brand new mat because my other mat that I had was not sticky enough and the Prima cardstock paper is pretty thick so I hope I don't mess this up I just wanted to show you the different pieces because I started doing this one here um, but I figured I'd show you the pieces real quick before I start. It's kind of, it's it's a neat pattern. All the ones that, you know, that I have dies for and have cut like from, you know, with my Big Shot or other machines are, are kind of different. So as I peel away the extra pieces, and I know that I have a little tool that helps me do that, but I just wanted to show you that real quick. I'm not going to take them off the mat. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number ten, I, I haven't quite figured out what to do with that piece. But okay, so they they range in size. So what what I did, and I'm gonna put that aside. I started building this one. Hope you could see it. Uh, I use this mat by McGill, and actually I got the kit that comes with this. Um, Oh my gosh, I can't think of this tool, but it's a tool that has two ends to it. And I mostly use this side of it for bigger flowers. So what I started doing, let me show you. I kind of started on this one. Well, I did these pieces and there's three already. You want to plug in your glue gun when you're when you're doing this because if you mess with other glues, then it's kind of hard to put together. Okay, let's get a fresh one. Okay, so this is a piece that, that I have. I turn it upside down. So this is the side that's going to be on the bottom. And I just use this tool, this the bigger end, and I do this. You just kind of, like you're shaping the paper. And the reason why you want to do it upside down is because when you, oops, I'm so sorry. Hope you don't get dizzy from that. Sorry about that. I touched my little phone attacher. And, oh, sorry. And then after you do this side, then you flip it to the, the right side, the side that you're going to see, and then you shape the middle. And then I just took a, any kind of pencil or whatever you have, and I did this to each petal. You just kind of wrap it around like that, see? That way it shapes the petal. I tried it this way, like to bend it back, but it didn't come out quite right. I don't know. You just kind of play around with it. So you do that to each layer so that one's ready to go. Some people like to do one layer at a time. Some people like to do all the layers and then glue them all together. Uh, so this is another one that I did. I already did the back of it. I'm going to flip it upside down Or right side up I should say and then do that to it and then curl the petals 
So you just keep doing that to all the pieces. And actually when I cut this, I had only nine pieces because one of the pieces tore. The cut, the the mat not being sticky enough. So I'll just keep doing this until I assemble the flower. See, this piece didn't cut right, but it's okay. Like they say, no flower in nature's perfect. Hopefully everyone's having a good weekend. I'm going to start late Christmas shopping, I know, very late. So you just do the, you continue to do your shapes upside down. I really love making flowers. It's really relaxing and it's just fun. Oops, I forgot to do this one. There's no right order to do it. Just do it the way you want to do it. But it does help if you do it upside down because it just kind of helps the petals pop up. I just noticed that it's not focusing right. Okay, hopefully. Okay, and then let me do my last one. It really would be helpful if anybody from Silhouette's watching when you have images up to have instructions on how to put it together. And I know a lot of the designers out there who design their files have Im have pictures and videos, but this one did just didn't come with it. So anyway, like I said, it's my rendition. See how it kind of like pops up like that? It's very pretty. You can go back and fix it. You can even go back like after, you know, since I finished this flower already, if I see some petals that are, you know, not 3D enough, you can always go back and fix it and pinch the ends of it. Okay, so since I started this one, I'm going to show you how to finish it. Let me reach around and get my glue gun. Okay, I like to, some people go inside and put the glue there. It's just up to you. I like to control it by putting on the petal. And you're going to want to layer it. So when you put it on top of the next layer, make sure it's kind of like offset. That way you don't have all the petals going the same way. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish that. And you see as you get towards the middle, they start naturally to bunch up. And this is even missing one layer. See, I did that one. I didn't do that one correctly. That's okay. Okay, so as you start getting like closer and closer to the center, you might not be able to reach in with your finger so that you could use a pencil or any other tool to kind of make, make that glue stick down. And you really want to use double-sided paper because the other side does show up like when you turn it sideways and if you're using white paper, it just doesn't look nice. So I'm going to put in the last thing. And since I always like to put something in the center of it, there. Okay, and I said you can always fluff it up when you're done with it. Um, on this one, I put these little, oh, I can't think of the names today, the flower centers. So it's just, uh, what did I do with it? I uh, got a bunch of it from Hobby Lobby. And it's this the wedding it was only two dollars for all this. It's a pretty good deal. So you could use it even if a pearl. And this one I just took a bunch of these. Of course, they're all falling apart now. Just take a bunch and bend it like that, and then you kind of figure out: is it too tall? Do you want have you know if you want to stick it have it stick out a lot? Let's make this one stick out. So now you put your glue in the middle. And then arrange it. And see, this one's kind of sticking out a lot, which I don't really like. But since we're doing a video, I just kind of squish it in there, let the glue dry. There, it worked out good. So that's the flower we just made. Really, really pretty. And then you can always go back and you can ink the edges if you want, the edges of each petal. You can curl it some more at the edges, which is what I'm doing. And hope that helped you. That's my version of the 3D Dublin Rose from the Silhouette Cut File. And the paper that I used for this one is the Prima Royal Menagerie. It's the A4 pad. And I just, if you're using the Silhouette, just adjust your 
your page page size paper size to the A4, which is easy to do. So anyway, thanks for stopping by for a really really quick video tutorial. Have a blessed day and take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.